There's a house. Our house. My house. He went backwards. What was he building? I make psychological thrillers and horror films, and I love the genre, but as a kid, it scared the hell out of me. It's quite strange that I found my way into them and that they continue to be fascinating. David has a tremendously intricate and detailed understanding of the craft of horror. He is incredibly aware of the audience's right when they need a jump scare, when they need it calm, when they need to process information. And that's like forensic, technical understanding of filmmaking. Hey! I think one of the biggest themes is survival, actually. How do you survive the unthinkable? And how do you get through it? You're not well, Beth. What is reality? Is reality what we think? Or is reality what we know? Do you guys believe in ghosts? Ghosts? Like how? I think there's something in my house. And then you have this other question of, what do you really know about your partner? And that seed of doubt being planted is something that is an uncomfortable thing for an audience member. Sometimes with these movies, you're so focused on finding a way to subvert the tropes or do something different with them. And although I think The Night House does that, at the same time, I find that it really wields a bunch of classic ideas. If you're with me, show me. I really love just embracing, you know, the tropes of a haunted house. I always thought of it as a sort of maze of one's own mind. The house really was a character in the movie. I mean, I think there's always surprises in horror because sometimes certain sequences come together in a way that you didn't expect. And that brings all the other scary stuff that you're doing to life in a new way.